Dear the Mum I Wanted, If you're reading this, then science has advanced far faster than I had anticipated, and a scientist has discovered a way of sending items to parallel universes or different planes of existence. And you're probably perfectly happy in your world with your world's version of me. But that's beside the point, let's move on. I sometimes, or often, wonder what my life would be like if my upbringing were different. If you were my reality and not my dream. If my parents were different, or if there was a way I could have helped make them different, but I failed to do so. For the longest time I didn't realise other kids didn't know what rehab or alcoholism was. I figured that all mothers drank from sun up to sundown to avoid seizures and going to hospital. Not truly, because deep down you always know, but I surely wanted to believe it. Knowing now that my normal varied greatly from my peers at the time, I've questioned what you would be like. Not an alcoholic is certainly on the list. I guess in a perfect world, I'd hope you didn't have any medical concerns that could impact our time together, and that your upbringing made you a stable, well-rounded member of society, beyond capable of providing the same for me. I want a life for you that is fulfilling. I don't need a stay-at-home mum, I need a role model. Quick little casual jobs caring for kids at the gym creche and quitting jobs to avoid cuts to Centrelink payments are not fulfilling. You would have provided structure and discipline. You wouldn't have asked me for advice and you wouldn't have bitched to me about your problems. You would have listened and provided a safe place instead of complaining that I'd want to try your food or that I didn't carry your box of wine correctly on the way home. You wouldn't buy me something and then immediately make me feel horrible about all the sacrifices you make for me. You would acknowledge my achievements and be proud of me or at the very least, allow me to be proud of myself. You would remember the good others have done for you and acknowledge your own shortcomings. You're the kind of woman that doesn't need people around in order to pass the blame, but you appreciate the precious little time you have with those you love. I wouldn't have to fight so desperately for your love. Whatever the case may be, and whoever you are, Regardless of the fact that your existence is a multiple trillion to one chance, I only hope I can be more like you than the mother I had when it comes my time to fill those shoes.